students my name is nishtha gupta and i'm from iisc bangalore i am a biology faculty at ask itn since past 4 years today we are going to discuss the chapter biological classification under this chapter we will be discussing about the types of classification about the history of taxonomy and the two portions over classification so let's begin with the introductory part in this part we will be discussing that what is the need of classification biological classification let's begin with the introduction of this chapter look before starting biological classification i would like to ask you one question that is what is the need of classification you are going to classify plants and organisms in this chapter but why what is the need of this classification so to answer this question i'll put in front of you a very simple example you are having a heap of coins okay you are having a heap of coins of around 7 countries so coins of seven countries are placed in front of you and you are asked to take out a particular coin for example from the coins of india you are asked to take out a 1 rupee coin and from the coins of uh, hungary for example you are asked to pick up one foreign and from the coins of us you are asked to pick up 1 cent like this so how you will do this activity first of all what you will do you will start to make different columns of each type of country in order to make this process easy if you will start doing like this okay this is the heap of in um, you know coins i have to search india 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 one rupee india it will take a lot of time so the easiest way to perform this activity is you will just make columns of all the countries or coins of all the countries so what you will have you will have each and every section of different countries of a particular country now it will become very easy for you to pick up one particular coin of each and every country isn't it so exactly so like this classification has been made just in order to make the process systematic one more example i would like to put in front of you that imagine there is a round table at the center of the table a rabbit is kept now seven scientists of seven different countries are sitting around that round table and they are asked to call by name that rabbit obviously the scientist from china will name that rabbit maybe like zai pong zai like this and some scientist will name it with different name like scientist of africa will call it by the name of their country with common name so seven scientist will give seven different names to one rabbit so it will be very confusing isn't it yes very confusing if we are asked to give name to a particular plant or an animal and we are having different names so many names variety of names of one particular plant then it is of course going to confuse all the scientists as well as students so just in order to make this complete process systematic and universal the process of biological classification is introduced what is done under biological classification so let's begin with this identification of differences okay 
identification of differences among organisms and placing them into groups that reflect what that reflect their most significant features so we will identify the differences among organisms and the organisms which are having similar features and relationships will be placed under one group so like this this process is completely known as biological classification what is the purpose of biological classification so the purpose of biological classification is to organize the vast number of known plants and animals into categories that could be studied easily so to make the study easily to make the process systematic this biological classification has been introduced the classification the grouping of organisms is based on similarities and biological classification is based on how organisms are related to each other for example look at this group a group a is having two circles of same color same size everything is same so they are having similarities that's why they are placed in group a in group b you can see these are similar they are having similarities and they look like related to each other so they are kept into group b one more thing is there biological classification is not completely based on outer appearance it is based on characteristic features as well so the organisms the plants possessing same characters possessing similarities in characteristics will be placed under one group in this chapter what we are going to study first we will be studying types of classification then we will be studying history of taxonomy this history of taxonomy is again subdivided into history of taxonomy part 1 and history of taxonomy part 2 then we will be taking classification the topic of classification is again divided into part 1 that is classification 1 and classification 2 so let's begin with the next part of this video well students so this is all about why we need to classify organisms what is the need of this biological classification now moving on to our next lecture we will be discussing the types of classifications